When we first began the, the Sasquatch Genome Project and we ended up uh, publishing our paper, um, we found that the peer reviewers weren't really concerned with our science. They seemed to say that our science was okay. There was no critique to it. Uh, what there was critique of was they just couldn't believe the results and even stated so in some cases. Um, they actually said that it just had to be contamination. And that was the main complaint. And people that haven't read the paper or have just picked up and run with this statement. However, we have graphical proof that uh, they're not contaminated, the samples aren't, and I'm making a video to that effect. Um, however, I thought before I released that video I would uh, let y'all enjoy a little clip out of France. Um, Dr. Tom Gilbert, who's a geneticist at the University of Copenhagen, very famous man, he's published over 125 peer-reviewed papers. He's done a lot of work on ancient human origins and uh, is, is one of the top people in the field. And he actually sequenced some hairs from Sumatra, from the Orang Pendek. And his state-of-the-art famous university laboratory is not going to contaminate the samples. However, in this clip, not only does he say that his results were human for mitochondrial DNA, just like ours were, um, but he also is followed by the hair analyst that says the hair wasn't human, just like what our results were. However, I had to laugh because the um, person that did the hair analysis uh, also accuses Dr. Gilbert of contaminating the samples. This is so ludicrous, I can't even tell you. And so I thought you would enjoy seeing the clip. Don't take my word for it. Watch the clip. Um, and in, enjoy the video. Um, and next video I'll try to post will, will be the uh, one where I'm pulling out some of our raw data to show there's no contamination. Uh, hope y'all enjoy. Bye for now. What I think initially were, was interesting about the sample was the hair color, right? They, they had these short fragments and they were this sort of orangey color that's at least not common to the native people of, of the area. 24 hours later, it's the moment of truth for the potential Orang Pendek hair. The DNA sequence is now available for analysis. Now it must be compared with the 30,000 sequences of animals that are already classified in the World Gene Bank. And we did our standard DNA analysis. We basically extracted the DNA from the hair. We had a complete identity, 100% match over the region we looked at to human DNA. This led me at the time to the conclusion that it's basically a human. I don't think this hair uh, sample could have come from a human in any way because the structure is all wrong. Human hairs are very characteristic and this one does not look in any way like a human hair. The human DNA that Tom Gilbert and the DNA lab found in the sample could have come from humans. It could have been simple contamination when the hairs were sampled. Uh, somebody forgot to put gloves on or just lose that drop of sweat on the hairs. I wouldn't dream of suggesting that this is evidence for the existence of a new species, the Orang Pendek. But this is a clear indication that there is something unknown in Sumatra. 